Greetings, my fellow adventurers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story. Episode 118, Edelon and the Majestic Library. So that's the translocator room. And it collapses going beyond. How's my gear holding up? So the chain stuff is great. The shield is great. Yeah, everything is in fine working order. Where was out? Oh, hi guys. Here's out. So we are at the commons. And we have the new pump head. Or the old pump head. Oh, it's anything but new. New to us, Pumphead. We still have some fuel, but I'll refuel it. You know, because... That disgruntled employee would be upset if we didn't. And... Maybe... Get some red meat pies before we go any further. So my protein nutrition is falling behind. But, the library is open. Ooh. Well, my stumpy little legs won't let me like, climb over here. And... It's a long way down. Where was the out? convenient to put a torch at the um, exit so that it glows not green it glows red so that you can find it easily so thank you guidance torch Do you guys want me to use the ore blasting bomb once I'm at the service? Or to save it? How go it? Thank you for the resub. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. It'd be nice to have a translocator from here to base. Ha <laughs> ha. Use it in the end of stream? Sure, I could do that. Gives you a reason to stay tuned. Really? Still here? All right. Uh, so my fruit? I will get one more serving. 
So there we go. We have another bowl of fruit. I did say I wanted some meat pies. So let's get two red meat pies. And... I think we're good. I think that's all I needed to drop off. Um... Maybe I'll put my shovel away in lieu of cranberries. I don't know. Nothing in there can stack. Right? Yeah, nothing stackable. We have our literature and scrolls. and Yeah. All right. Now we go. Are there traders nearby? Uh, well, I mean, it's worth remembering I'm, like, way up in the mountains. So even if they were nearby, it would be a very difficult climb to get to them. Does it make sense to make more torches? Um, there's a lot of torch material down here. There's, like, sticks and and charcoal. So, like, if I need more torches, I can, I can make them in a pinch. You wish temporal gear stacked? Yeah, that'd be nice. They're, they're precious, and they're annoying to transport. Where do I even want to go? So we, the engineering is open. So let's go back to the library. Uh, so in the meantime... I fear that some disruption is the mechanism running these archives. I know the scribes will find it unpleasant, but you'll have to enter the library through the maintenance room for now. Don't worry, he won't bother you. Uh, okay. Oh, he's bothering me, all right. I've been lied to.
Well. That was a fight. I just got temporal gears, metal parts, metal scraps. And uh, there's the engineering. I'm going to go and say that uh, this little dude here bothered me. I'm glad that he was crushed by this granite, though. So this is the immobilized Edelon. The, I think... There was a note about it. Down here. Oh, there's the gasifier. Fire apparently can. Oh, ow, ow. How many cold can you put in this thing? More. Apparently, the answer is more. Ooh. Friends, I do believe this is the archive. The resonator hums quietly. Search for a recent recording. You hear the soft whirring of small machinery. Then, from deep within the resonator, you hear an echo, growing louder and clearer. The resonator produces these disembodied sounds as if they were right in front of you. A voice whispers, What do you reckon it's here for? Another voice hisses, Quiet, damn you. It can hear you. We'll have to find a way out. Search for a different recording. Silence, then the scraping of metal on stone. A clicking, rhythmic sound drawing closer and fading away. Keep searching. An old man's voice, somehow familiar. Look, you see that? Rubido is not limited to gold. The principle itself scales to greater heights, depending on your tools. When flux is integrated into the process instead of being the endpoint, what pathways could that open up? And what if we add blood to the mix? Not just any blood, of course, my own wretched blood. Search for more from the old alchemist. Aren't you listening? I said there's too many missing. Sure. We were dying like mayflies, and mind you, some things are a bit hazy for me towards the end. But even so, they can't have all perished, and they can't have all turned. I cannot be the only one, but where are they? That's what it's always come back to. Search for related recordings. No, they hardly know anything. Of course, it pains me to see them suffer. They're like... Little lost children huddled in their homes. But it's for the best. It's all for the best. We had all the knowledge in the world and worlds beyond. And what good did it do us? No. Best leave it to it, them to it. Let them think of me as some mad old sorcerer and leave me in peace. Forgive me my ramblings. I had lost hope, honestly. It became nothing more uh, a goal to chase, to keep me sane over all these years. But here we are, and here you all are, somewhere out there. 
the world has changed. But if the archives still stand, and if you're hearing this message, well, then you must already know this. Come find me, my friends. There is much to discuss. The blocks in here are not destructible, if you were wondering. Ox blood storage vessels. Instructions for a fantastical flying apparatus. I have discovered part two of ten of the lore of the miller. And two of five of the patronage of Tybalt. So, these are uh, archives full of books that sort of fill in the detail of the world as it was. And who the old alchemist is and Jonas Falks and the whole rest of it. And there are books on uh, many. Uh, what to look for when looting? is the glowing teal spines like this one. And what I'm trying to do is uh, collect a bunch so that I can read them in sequence if it interests you. I'll leave that to polling. But having complete book collections is not all of the books are necessarily going to be found in this archive. Some would, um, so if you're missing any, you might need to go to underground caves or sift um, bony soil. There's other ways to get um, scriptures. And of course, I'm only on the first floor of this, uh, this archive. But I believe I've cleared the first floor. Well, not this floor and a half cleared the first floor of books uh, this is also a resonator and the resonators play tuning cylinders and I believe I have a tuning cylinder back in the box on the surface called the Seraphs. It's also worth noting that traders will also have their own um, playing devices. little poll here. About whether to collect all the passages and collect them and read them or just to start heading home. If I head home now, I can definitely get back to my base and possibly make a uh, glider. Now, I'm certainly not going to have the space for all of these books, but I can always leave them in the chest, in the trunk, if I can't bring them all home, and they're being added to my journal inventory. So even if I can't carry them home, uh, they will be known. Oh, that's kind of ruined. 
Oh, so here's a tuning cylinder that we can try in the resonator. I like the, the archive is really cool. And then there's display cases. So this is like a skull from a saber tooth. And something called Zoolite. What is that? A horror statue. Strange device prototype. Insect amber. And an artistic bottle. There's like lots of little treasures here. Hourglass. A deformed human skull. Oh, nice. Might have all the way to stones now. It's hard to tell without actually lining them all up. The, the physical copies of the books. Because the journal entries aren't done. Um, uh, pass it like book to noted. Oh. Uh. Wait, what? That's weird. It let me pick up a rotten book. And another one. But I can't seem to read. Sorry, book. I can't read you. I don't need you. I suppose there is a playstyle where you build a library or a study for yourself after having come here because there's lots of literature. Imagine being this little locust being stuck in this room for like time immemorial and then some dude comes in and just uh, smashes you and then walks off. Man, I thought I was the main character. Clearly uh, just a supporting role. <laughs> Bunch of parchment and a quill and ink. Most of these books are illegible. They're all like illegible. Or or possibly copies of books I already ha have picked up. I definitely don't have them all though. Not yet. Alright, so collect them but don't read them. So gather knowledge. I think this specific resonator won't play tuning cylinders. I'll keep this tuning cylinder on me because it's it's unknown until I'm able to play it. And yeah, it's it's plenty fun just to huck books. 
Well, look at that crown. Uh, that's better than my coronet. You like? Oh yeah, now I'm really royal. <laughs> An orange book. I think this is just aesthetic book. Well, a lot of duplicates. Graduation cap, something. How have I not gotten a book that I haven't already read? Books are getting a little sparse up here. I also gotta mind my step. Kind of a long way down. A fatal smushy way down. This is a big room. Let's go and say that I have... I think there's a wing that I didn't explore. But uh, apart from that, I think this is the... Oh, I caught one of the books I tossed. So this is back. This should be familiar. The crumbled section where we dropped. This is how to get out. Well, let's fill the bag up. Make sure that there wasn't a... So I went in this way. Yeah, I went in this way. Uh, whoops. The gasifier ran out of gas. Time is up. <sighs> Library's closed. It's interesting how creepy it is as soon as the light goes goes out. This place does not look inviting after afterwards. Alright, collecting our as much as we can carry. Just a ra random smattering of books. I could probably ditch the torches. Nothing like ditching torches on the floor in a uh, probably incredibly flammable room. And let's... Oh, you know, I can also ditch that. And then we'll scoot.
Well, we're departing at nighttime, which is not great. Could be worse. And because I've transcribed all the knowledge, I think I'm going to prioritize bringing home like Jonas parts and other sort of rarities rather than the books, but I can leave the books um, in the trunk if I ever want to come back for them. They did a really good job with the library. They did a really good job with this entire dungeon. It's very cool. Hey, the uh, the rift is gone. Hmm. So. I'll take the tuning cylinders. The board pieces. The axe back. I can leave the spare gear. Um, blasting bombs come with me. All of the Jonas subassembly pieces, which I will um, explain in a little bit of detail soon. Uh, like what they are and why they're important. All right, what else? I'll bring the bowls. I just don't want to have to make new bowls. It's just pure laziness. On, um, I drop something. Where'd it go? Okay, I picked it back up. Cool. Uh, anything else? Shovel and maybe I'll use the linen to repair something just for stacking efficiency. Okay. Oh, right, the scrolls. Uh, Alright, iron plates. Maybe. I want to bring these two scrolls back. Because they're more unique than the rest of the stuff that was down there. Because you can't get these scrolls from, like, scraps or anything. Um... Yeah, I can leave some healing. Jack Rum, thank you for the uh, the resub. And then I have one spare hand slot left over for like dirt. So head back home. That is the goal. Oh, uh. The important ones is the tuning cylinders, the glider schematic, and scrolls, and food and healing for the return trip. Because, you know, if you... Hello. You're, like, stuck in a pit there. You know, if you starve to death on your way home, that's a pretty sad trip. And Chaos Engine, thank you for the resub as well.
Listen to those little bleeders. All right, I'm going to unpin this. When I get off this mountain. Oh, God. Mind the gap. Where's the garbage I've been picking up? Oh, the low fertility soil. Uh, yeah. I'll have the low fertility soil on me in case I need to, like, nerd pull or something. Alright, I think we're down. It is May 2nd. So almost uh, like a month in game is not the same. It's not like 30 days, but it's been an in game uh, two weeks since we left home or so. I think we left on like April 8th, maybe. I think every month has what, 10 days? Is that right? Cool looking wolf. Nine days? Okay. Every month has nine days. Every game's a little different. Almost no games have a 30, uh, 365 year. Although I bet in the um, server settings you could have Vintage Story have a 365 year. There's so many server settings that you can finely tune. retracing our steps the path we took here was not so bad it was not so impassable that it would be worth deviating from the return path through this lake region. Got it. I don't much enjoy long distance swimming. Although, to be fair, if you are to traverse terrain safely, maybe not quickly, but safely, water is the way to do it because nothing will catch up to you. So like, you have a little bit of uh, invincibility if you swim long distances, provided it's not so cold you'll get hypothermia.
I kind of wish it was daytime, though. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 14th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Seraphs. <laughs>